Hello to my fans out there, and I do have some fans, believe it or not. Not everybody thinks I'm crazy. There are some people out there that really believe that I'm one of the few voices for truth out there in the world. And for those people who believe that I'm one of the voices for truth, I just want to let you know the reason you haven't heard from me lately on YouTube is because I've been making my own movie. I spent several weeks writing a screenplay for the film, and I had to do some research so that the screenplay would be good. It's a movie about Brent Spiner. And I'm shooting it, uh, let's say, episode by episode. It's kind of going to come out like a television series, sort of, except I am the only performer. Um, but what I do first is I spend several weeks writing the screenplay for each episode. And episode one is already into production. I finished the screenplay about two weeks ago. It's about uh, Lori McBride's rape, drug rape of Brent Spiner in September 1992. So the first episode is about that. And I interviewed Brent Spiner to, to write the screenplay. And and a very intense interview. We uh, conversed with each other over Skype. Uh, Skype. Uh, we uh, he sent me email writings. Brent is a brilliant writer, and I was able to use incorporate a lot of what he wrote me into my own screenplay. Though it's my own work, I I had to do what he wrote me was basically just he just told me the experiences he went through and what he felt, heard, seen. You know, the uh, how he. What, what he experienced when he was being raped, it was very hard for Brent. And for a while there, he got so overwhelmed emotionally because I was hammering him with all these questions and he didn't feel comfortable answering them right away. And he almost, I, it got to the point where I just said, okay, Brent, I think this is just getting to be too much and maybe I'll just, we'll just skip the whole project. But Brent said, no, he wanted me to make this movie. Okay, so the screenplay has been finished, and now we're into filming, and I do all the acting. I play nine different parts. I'm playing Patrick Stewart, LeVar Burton, Brent Spiner, Laurie McBride, Spot the Cat, a director. Um, I may have left somebody out, but if you uh, go to my website at Gabriel Chana, G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-E-C-H-A-N-A dot com slash church, C-H-U-R-C-H dot H-T-M-L. Uh, you'll, and you hit the, click the, the link that says my videos. It'll take you right down to what says Brent Spiner movie, and that's the movie. And um, Brent is okay with me doing this, even though we're dealing, I have to warn you, I've rated it R for restricted audiences because there are some sexually explicit scenes in the movie. So I may not, you may not want to have children watch this so this it's for adults only unless the unless you might be i it's possible i could have rated a pg-13 but i personally think i should rate it r so i gave it an r rating and i um unfortunately when you're dealing with a subject matter like rape it's kind of hard to keep it below r rating especially when you're dealing with jesuit rapes because jesuits are very vulgar and very evil people and when they do stuff like rape, they're really they're really horrible. So it almost has to be an R-rated film if you're going to depict what Jesuits do accurately. Um, I also wanted to, I told Vladimir Putin that I would like to do a movie about him, but he's not sure he's comfortable with uh, making a film about the death of his wife, Larissa. Apparently, this was extremely devastating for him. And when I started asking him research questions for his movie, he got so overwhelmed, we, we actually had to bring Vladimir into Gerard Butler for psychiatric counseling. He, he, he was getting depressed about it. So I may not make the movie about Vladimir Putin. We'll see. The Brent Spiner movie is going to take me probably at least a year because I have about eight or nine episodes in the Brent Spiner movie. I'm, episode one, the screenplay has been written for that. It's like a t one hour teleplay. And, um, but the rest I have yet to write. So it's going to be a while. It takes me like three weeks to write a screenplay. Okay, some of the scenes have been shot. So when you go to my website to look at the movie, you're going to see a partial movie. It's going to grow and evolve into the full movie. And I don't always shoot the scenes in order. But if you just wanted to advertise the movie, that's at my website. And um, I act in it. I'm, I play all nine roles. I direct it. I've written it. 
Brent Spiner says he might do some film editing for me. He has film editing software, but um, maybe not. We shall see. But the uh, movie is at my website for those who are interested in me and who don't think I'm crazy. And believe it or not, there are a lot of people out there that do not think I'm crazy. Even though the Jesuits try to create the impression that 90% of the world thinks I'm insane, that is not correct. They've done a brilliant propaganda campaign to convince the world that everybody thinks I'm crazy. And, and a lot of people believe it. But uh, there is a Gabriel Chana Fox News Channel out there, which has to be aired discreetly in my area. And um, a lot of people don't think I'm crazy. That's because I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not going to waste my time arguing about that. I'll let you all just decide for yourselves. And I strongly encourage those of you who are born again Christians to go to the Lord in prayer and ask him to give you wisdom and discernment. Because we are in the last days and the devil and his followers, which includes the Jesuits, are, are brilliant. And the Bible says that even the very elect will be deceived in the last days. And I am a voice for truth in this world and Satan is trying to silence me.